Bueno gente, vamos a continuar con Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 Donde nos habíamos quedado Nos mandaron a buscar a... A ver... ¿Cómo se llama este tipito? Eh, la llave de la sala del altar Tengo que buscar a Fabio, a ver, teníamos que buscar a Fabio Vamos por él Supongo que ese será Fabio. <risa> My God. Obvio que sí. Was he here this whole time? A ver, a ver. This crude tattoo partially covers a slave branding. This worm-like sigil has been drawn with his own blood. This golden handle has a blood stain on it. The dagger is heavy and sharp, but lacks balance. The wound is deep. A precise strike against the heart. Por el loco. A blunt force trauma may have suffered an internal hemorrhage. The victim has clenched the fabric so firmly in his fist that it's nigh impossible to remove it. Se me ha roto la mano. Right here. Bien. Qué changuita me agarré. Fabio murió en un asesinato ritual. A Fabio lo sacrificaron en el altar durante un ritual ocultista. Me parece cuento, pero bueno. Aquí a ver qué. ¿Qué es lo que me está? Ah, acá está, me está. Aquellos chistes. Aquí está el sopavo a este de bobe. De bobe. Bueno, ¿qué te explica lo que está pasando aquí? En lugares como estos, no es tan inusual para algunos atendidos para ser un poco exuberante. Es parte de la apariencia. Afortunadamente, parece que las cosas han salido de mano. Sí, algunos son más prontos a bendar las reglas de la moralidad. Eso es muerte. No creo que haya nada para bendar. Why did you not tell me immediately? We were chatting about trivial matters for some time. If I'm completely honest, Sherlock, I've consumed a rather potent cocktail of substances. My attention slips and drifts. But I'm glad I thought to call for you. You sent me a disguise. Oh dear. Did I? Well, since I found the body, Mr. Manchios has agreed that you can investigate the matter. I promise my mind will behave itself going forward. All right. Pull yourself together, Werner. Mr. Manchos is the owner of the manor, yes? And the host of Cordona's most memorable parties. He promises even Esto sí que va a ser memorable. a partner for the night. And for the ones with more unconventional tastes, Mr. Manchios provides other services. What a caring person. You cannot begin to imagine. No quiero imaginarlo tampoco. How did you discover the body? In between guzzles of alcohol? I was set to perform in a fecundity ride with Fabio, We came to inquire further. It was a staged ritual where he was to play the principle of life. And the rehearsal was unsuccessful? Ha! Huh. Who knows? I found him alone on the altar, his blood dripping to the floor. And then? Then I called Mr. Manchios. He was panicking, so I told him about you. We left the room and locked the door. Then, we were... Filling time. Waiting for you was stressful. We indulged in some simple comforts. Overindulged, perhaps. Were you well acquainted with Fabio, the victim? Everyone knew Fabio, or wanted to. His beauty was the talk of the island. Too handsome to go unnoticed. He was magnetic. Fat wallets fought for the privilege of having him. He offered the pleasures of performance, and more. 
What about the fertility ritual? There was something about Fabio being a principle of life. Fabio was supposed to portray the beauty of life's origin. Flowers, oil, not this travesty that seems straight out of the Inquisition. So this ritual is not the fertility rite. What was it meant to look like? It begins with a woman lying naked in a flower bed on the altar. She represents Gaia, the earth. As I cover her in oils, we chant for the principle. As our calls reach a climax, Fabio enters and copulates with her. After he finishes, I stab her with a dagger. That part's just pretend, of course. But the intercourse is not? I did not expect you to be such a prude. Are you a virgin? It is nothing to be ashamed of, but it would explain the color of your cheeks. The fertility rite marks the start of our festivities. The principle of life is beautiful, intimate, essential. It must not be stopped. <sighs> Yet it appears that someone did stop it. What about the naked woman? Can you tell me anything about her? Oh, yes, Matista. She's one of Fabio's compatriots and a performer, too. I haven't seen her today, actually. When you discovered the body, was the door open? No, it was locked. Oh, that reminds me. It's a minor detail, but the first time I came to speak to Fabio, I left without entering, having been unable to open the door. You didn't have the key? No, I had it. Don't look at me like that. I was mostly sober. I suspect there was a key in the other side of the door, blocking the lock. That detail may very well be major, Werner. Well done. So you returned later only to find the lock was not blocked? Correct. After an hour had passed, I tried again and was able to unlock the door. That's when I discovered poor, handsome Fabio. The police remain unaware of this tragic event? Some of them may be hiding behind their masks. They conceal many things. But we didn't want the authorities to create more problems. Besides, after a few cocktails, their incompetence will have soared to new heights. How do you know I even want the case? I promised you relaxation. If there's one thing I know about you, Sherlock, it's that nothing soothes you more than a good mystery. Bueno, vaya descanso. Vamos a tener que investigar. The sign reminds me of the astrological symbol for Mars. This one looks like a twisted symbol of Venus drawn in a hurry. This elaborate box must be for the ritual dagger. The herbs here are salvia divinorum. They have a slight hallucinogenic effect to emphasize the ceremony. Handcrafted and luxurious cufflinks. There's also a note. For my Fabio, Manchos. Would you recognize me in one of these? I suppose not. Thank you. 
Ahí está lo lleva. The key is similar to the one that Vogel gave me. The capital F on the key fob might refer to Fabio. This is a different ritual. Es más o menos lo que dijo Google. How can anyone accept such behavior? Okay. A useful tool for a disguise arsenal. <coughs> the pitcher is empty, but with puddles around it. Blood clots are adhered to the sides of the drain. Identical to the robes the guests are wearing. Similar to the guests' robes, apart from the bloodstains. Props, decorations, and tools for a more detailed set. Enough cigars to burn down the entire mansion. An open wound spoiled the carpet. Blood. A sturdy bottle met a not so sturdy human. It didn't break only because it was unopened. Why don't people tidy up after themselves? A bloody handprint on an armchair. The wounded person was here for some time. A person leaned against the doorframe. They left a smudged trail of blood. 
There appear to be no further traces leading to the altar. So, Sherry, do you have any ideas about the case? Perhaps, perhaps. I think I can deduce what happened here. Damn. Well, they will not. I shall report. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Con la equivoca. Que no se sabe. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. No es. Even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Acá fue el, el problema muy andado, sí o sí. Acá. El botellazo, sí o sí. Ah, que estamos quemando. No, no, eso no. Botellazo. Para acá. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. No me acuerdo. Eso tenía que ser. Tuvo que venir a. Ese no puede ser. No sé por qué no. The bottle was used as a weapon during a scuffle in the bueno, que hoy la había puesto así. Then to ensure no one would interrupt, the murderer locked the door. The unconscious body of the victim was moved to the altar room. Once the body was on the altar, the murderer thrust the dagger into the victim's heart. Symbols were drawn with the blood. The wardrobe was used to hide the bloody robe from anyone's eyes. The killer washed himself and took a clean robe from the hangar before leaving. Are you alright? You're on the floor, not moving. I think I know what happened here.
No, we will return to the body. I'm starting to put the pieces together. Fabio was stabbed. I see nothing gets past you, Werner. Yes, he was stabbed, but only after being knocked out in the next room and placed here. I do not yet know why. So, who's responsible? Well, it was one person working alone, and the murderer has now donned a robe. He or she could be hiding in plain sight. We have lost time, Werner, but your discretion may prove to be a benediction after all. The murderer had to have access to this room. After the crime, he used his own key to lock the door. So, who had the key to the altar room? I'm not sure. As a special guest, I was provided one by Mr. Manchios. He should be able to tell you of any others. Where can I find him? Most likely in the main hall, entertaining his guests. He has a mask with golden stars. You can't miss him. But please be discreet. We don't want to risk disturbing the revelry. I know you can untangle this mess. No quiero perturbar la fiesta, Dios mío. Kurt Manchios, I presume. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Oh, you must be the one Werner told me about. What a sweet voice you have. It must belong to a handsome young man. Can I call you Sherlock? As you wish, Mr. Manchos. Mr. Vogel asked me to help you. The body in the altar room requires answers, and quickly, I suspect the murderer to still be here. What? Lower your voice. I don't want anyone to hear us. I need to find all those who had the key to the altar room. As far as I know, Mr. Vogel, Fabio, and you had access to it. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Also, Matista and Santos. Santos? Who is that? Santos Pinchetti, my major domo, in his opinion at least. I'd like to speak to Mr. Pinchetti and Matista. Do you have somewhere I might have a private conversation with them? Of course, of course. Let me think. Matista is entertaining the guest somewhere, and Santos... Oh, yes. He will be busy with the servants. Or the cook. What's that noise? What's going on? Freeze, filth. You're under arrest. March up. Todo en cano. Look at you. Committed a crime, and now I have to free you, kiss your hand, and apologize for the inconvenience. I did tell you that Mr. Vogel and I were innocent. I emphasized it in my statement. Your statement? Thanks to some bigwigs who work for the so-called good of the country by releasing fleas like you. Thank God we have Vogel in this letter. Once I get to that goldfish, I'll... Bigwig? Oh, my wretched brother Mycroft and his long nose. Wait, did you say Mycroft? Mycroft Holmes? Are you the youngest son of Violet Holmes, rest her soul? You knew my mother? Not personally, no. Not exactly. I was working on the paperwork for that case. Would you happen to remember anything of the events? Well, I didn't make the inquiry, but I remember seeing some notes. Why?
Perhaps we can negotiate. I could be quite useful. Huh. Got you hooked, right? You know what? Stark and the others think they're the smartest here, thanks to you. Let me get this straight. Are you listening to me, lad? I'm all ears. Take this case. Report to me only, to Constable Harvey Oswald. I'll leave everything I have on this table. Find the murderer. Be a real copper. Question the suspects, make them sing, give me something substantial. And if Mr. Vogel is not a suspect? If he's innocent, then you can take your favorite degenerate away from here. If you slip or mess with the evidence, then trust me, your brother won't save you from my bludgeon. Meanwhile, I'll be checking the archive for you. If anybody asks, then you're a consulting detective. Let's make a start then, partner. I'm glad we managed to get the scoop before the raid. What? Back on track to solve the case. Found Verna. Verna, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes. Everything's fine. In fact, it's something of a family reunion. My brother spent quite some time in this place himself. You should not be here. I told the police everything I knew, but they refused to let you go. They require proof to free you. Ha! What did you expect? The mighty Sherlock Holmes swans in, tells the officers what to think, and the world obeys? Of course not. Anyway, I struck a deal with the constable, and I've got a free hand in the investigation. I find proof to solve the case for him. He obtains files about my mother's death for me. Well done. If one has the power or will and can act, then one must. I wonder, suppose you couldn't get the proof to your truth. Would you tell a lie to the guard that enabled my freedom, knowing my innocence? Would that not be just? There are lines I will not cross, Verna. I will do my best to secure your release, but with proof, not deception. Really? How many white lies have you told on this island? Why not for me? 
Why not another? That is absurd. I can resolve this without compromises. Do not give up hope. Let me see what I can do about all this. No, no, no. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I can't follow you here. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I can't follow you here. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I have learned who told the police about the crime. It was Santos Pinchetti. Do I know him? The major domo of the manor. He cleans up after you? Well, then he does his job perfectly. All but invisible. I couldn't tell you the first thing about him. Dios. Quanta información me dio. Good day, Mr. Manchios. I am Constable Oswald's partner in this investigation. Be quick and gentle. Some of your colleagues are untrained boars. Although I don't mind meeting young officers, the new blood here. If you cooperate in finding Fabio's murderer, there will be no need to meet with the boars again. That voice. Bernice, friend? You're the policeman. What a disappointment. Only an undercover agent can scour a ditch full of deviants. I am a consulting detective. Although I'm capable of replacing the entire department through my consultations, Sharp tongued, I like it. May I presume this tongue will get us out of this trouble? I would be so indebted and glad to repay you. Nothing's changed. I'm looking for the murderer. That's the only way to get us out of trouble. But it shouldn't take much time, correct? We're all busy, after all. I need to examine you first. You are a little over the top with your use of makeup, Mr. Manchios. Is it so difficult for you to acknowledge your age? Well, Sherlock, that's easy for you to say to an old man when you look as though you are barely 15. But still, it shouldn't be an issue for someone of your status. For people of my age, it isn't an issue, no. But the younger ones can be so afraid of wrinkles and grey flecks. I have to adapt. Such a methodical man who cares for his body but misses the soap under his fingernails. Are you so impatient, or perhaps even impulsive? I wouldn't call myself that. Silly little details. If I missed it, it wasn't important. Or rather, it was less important than who or what I was focused on. You'd better ask someone else. You'd better ask someone else. I've no idea about that. You'd better ask someone else. You'd better ask someone else. Do you have any idea who tipped off the police to raid your mansion, Mr. Manchios? Of course. It was you. I could even say you shirloked me in here. 
A good guess, but the wrong one. The fellow who did that was Mr. Pinchetti, your major domo. What? Santos? But how could he even know? If he's not the murderer himself, the ungrateful swine, he has dared to besmirch my reputation. Not a very eloquent choice of words. What should I call him then, since he's a snitch? Make him talk, Sherlock. I'm quite certain he knows more about the murder than he has told the police. I've no idea about that. That's not something I know much about. That's not something I know much about. I've no idea about that. You'd better ask someone else. That's not something I know much about. You'd better ask someone else. You bought an expensive pair of cufflinks for Fabio. Were they his price? Or were they a tip for an exclusive show? It was pure business. Fabio escorted me a few times. I was merely showing my gratitude. This pair cost a small fortune. You must be extremely grateful then. Tell me more. You've thrust a knife in an exposed nerve, Sherlock. Yes, he was my protege and my beacon also. With my experience and his beauty, we could have achieved anything. I had faith in him. I would have made him. What was Fabio like? His personality, his habits? Anything you can tell me? He was the brightest star of my parties. Young, magnetic, and full of energy. I don't even want to mention his beauty. Otherwise, I'll be sobbing. An expensive champion, I imagine. His performances were flawless. He deserved his payment. Do you think he was murdered because of money? Possibly. What about the other guests? Were they used to opening their wallets as well? I wouldn't restrict my guests from anything. I'm sure Fabio received a few coins from others for his services. Mr. Vogel told me a little about your parties, but I would like to know more directly from you. I'm all yours, Sherlock. You have me arrested and locked here with you alone. I'd like to know who you usually invite to your parties. Free minds who are able to leave reality for an evening, who can taste forbidden fruit without prejudice. There is nothing that quite spices up life like these parties, assuming one is old enough and has worked many years for the good of one's country. Oh, all true laborers, I see. Why did you invite Mr. Vogel as your special guest? He's a pretty fellow. He's capable of surprising the public. He has a talent for saying words that no one else would wish to either say or hear. I suppose I can't argue with that. He is a free addition to the eccentricity of the party, which is fine by me, as long as it enhances my party. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. You are Matista, Fabio's friend. This body, yes, it's Matista. 
But it's a mere shell that will die someday. Just like Fabio. Please accept my condolences for your friend. Thank you. I'm just here to ask questions and find Fabio's murderer. It will not bring Fabio back. Fabio and yourself were slaves, am I correct? You have a similar branding on your body. Yes. It was a long time ago. I couldn't help but also notice fresh cuts upon your forearms. The cuts helped me to forget my past, to cover the old wounds and hide them. How did you escape? Something happened. One night the master fell down the stairs. I made him fall, and he died. We ran away that day. We managed to get on a ship and traveled here, to Cordona. Fabio and I started a new life here. It was very hard at first, but it became better with time. Until today. The bruises on your neck are not self-inflicted. Someone else made them. Some guests can't contain themselves. They even bite, sometimes. que traigan al, al otro ¿no? I don't think I can tell you anything about this. You better ask me a question I know how to answer. You better ask me a question I know how to answer. Have you considered Mr. Santos Pinchetti as a suspect? The snitch? Have you seen him? I mean, my breath could knock him down. What's so special about him? As a major domo, he has keys that open all the rooms, including the one to the crime scene. Could have testified only to circumvent suspicion, don't you think? We need to question him. Right. I'll send our men to fetch him. Stay here. They brought him in, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to interrogation room number seven. Mr. Pinchetti didn't even resist, our men said. Thank you. Oh. Chetty, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. I've already told him everything I know. I'm only a witness, sir. Everything's in my report. And I've read it. 
You forgot to mention that you hold the keys to the room where Fabio was found. I need only to find if the crime was intentional. But I need to return to my duties. I doubt the house will fall without you, Mr. Pinchetti. Just be still for a few seconds. You are the major domo of a rich mansion, and you seem barely able to afford decent clothing. You hide, under heavy makeup, a skin disease that might be treated with more onerous but less harmful means. Do you have money troubles? I do not have a lot of means. The pay is below what you might expect. But you could easily change your job if your employer does not meet your elementary needs. One can change his employer, that is true. And the blood on your shoe, where does that come from? I don't actually know. Perhaps from a guest. Did you know Fabio? Uh, not personally. He was a frequent guest, and cleaning the mess after his performances was tedious. Mr. Manchios always had a role for him, and mainly the leading one. The parties were always um, Fabio-centric. And Matista? Was she as popular as her partner? Don't tell her I said this, but I do not think so. Mr. Manchios hired her only because Fabio refused to work without her. Mr. Manchios used to see her as a worker. She was tasked with entertaining the guests, unlike Fabio, who could pick and choose. Come here. Please let me out. I know you can untangle this mess. I know I can handle the news. I can't wrap my head around such a tragedy at my party. What a chill, sir. This area is restricted. Did you hear Basilio Capello is in jail? A dead body was found in his showroom. Good night. Your ticket, please, if you want me to help you. I'd like to check the evidence from this case. And who are you? Oswald sent me. I'm a consulting detective. His partner, then? Let me see. Ah, oh, a ritual murder. <laughs> a bunch <laughs> of degenerates. Wait a second. I'll bring it to the yep. table. All the keys of the mansion on one golden ring. It's a miracle this ruby hasn't tempted anyone. Hmm. A heavily perfumed handkerchief with the initials KM in the corner. That's not for bedtime reading. This ex libris belongs to Manchios Library.
The book describes a ritual similar to the one performed in the altar room. A key to the altar room. A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. An emergency kit for boredom. Not the time for privacy. Werner's personal sketchbook. Thank you, officer. Right. I'm nothing to say. This book, The Power of Love, Blood and Mandrake, what do you hope to achieve? To learn more about the invisible strengths that govern us. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I escaped, I made him fall. I cast a spell on him and it worked. Or was it a coincidence? The universe is really so lazy. If you say so. This is the letter the police found in Mr. Vogel's pocket. Fabio wrote it. Do you know anything about it? I don't. Although I can feel Fabio's energy. It's there, but it refuses to let me analyze it. Do you practice occult rituals? For protection? For fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? Sometimes to survive. I have the gift. And I'm learning to use it better. Did you use your gift on Fabio? I only used white magic. Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. I just wanted him to be with me. But I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought.
I've no idea about that. Do you recognize this book? Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were inspiration for the rituals you performed? Do you really believe that blood, symbols, and incantations can resurrect the dead? They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism and voodoo. My rituals are a stage to show some of the forbidden pleasures. I've read this letter from Fabio. It had no addressee, but it was found in Mr. Vogel's pocket. Werner? Strange. I didn't think the two of them corresponded. I'm sure there is some explanation. Would you care to read it? Call me superstitious, but I don't care to read a letter from a dead man. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. So, the police found a letter from Fabio in your pocket? I cannot tell if it was truly in my pocket at all. Perhaps it was placed there later. Well, that is one hypothesis. If it were true, then how did it get there? No clue. But this night has been rather eccentric. Such a detail could have easily eluded me. Indeed. Do you recall reading it? I can't remember that either. But I tend to respect privacy. Reading others' personal notes is not one of my perversities. I know I can handle the news. I recognize the key from the altar room among these. 